Right, this is what we're going to be making today is our fish burger and we'll be making that fish patty from scratch from tuna so let's get cooking right welcome to my cooking channel my name's John today we're going to make beautiful beautiful tasty fish burgers firstly some tuna this is Get back tuna. Very, very good for you. High omega 3. Um, these are 95 gram cans, so they're quite small. Um, but as you can see, they're already flaked, and they, this is a smoked flavour, which is quite nice. So, about a tablespoonful of mustard, give it a little bit of bite, we're going to add a little bit of ginger, sorry not ginger, some garlic, about a clove garlic or a teaspoon of uh, minced ginger. Then I've got two tablespoons of spring onions. Then I've got half a cup of breadcrumbs and I'm just going to stir those through. hasn't taken them long to combine, has it? And now we're going to add one mashed potato only. Right, now we're going to add some sweet chilli sauce and I'm going to measure this because I don't want it to overcome flavour too much so a good tablespoon the temptation is to put two in but that will well and truly overpower it now in with our sorry I'm at a wrong angle here really normally I put the camera on the other side but it's um, winter days and I don't have much light and uh, I'll be blocking it all out. So there's our mashed potato. Let's get all this combined. Then I'll put our egg in. And then we can form these into patties and put them in the fridge to cool. Oh, they look absolutely delicious. The fragrance coming out of there is just. Oh, it's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. These are going to be the best tasting burgers ever. Rightio, I'm going to form those into patties and, um, and then we'll chill them. I must be having one of those forget the ingredients days because we didn't put our egg in, did we? Alright, can you trust me to mix that through or do you need to watch it? You can trust me, of course you can. Rightio, so remember these are going to be for, um, oh I should have wet my hands. <laughs> these are going to be for burgers so you want them a decent size. Rightio, into the breadcrumbs. Just make sure they get nicely coated because we want them to have a nice crispy 
outside layer. And print this or otherwise. Now that's quite a big patty, um, so I think this will only make about three from memory, but um, I'll just do the others and then we'll come back. And there you go, there they're all coated with breadcrumbs, we're going to pop them in the, the fridge for about an hour, two hours would be better, um, but I am hungry so actually I might just put these in the freezer for half an hour. Right. Let's get the filling ready, and I've gone for these again, uh, which I used in the cheeseburger recipe. I've gone for these sourdough hamburger buns, and they're beautiful, absolutely beautiful. So I'm going to put one slice of cheese. Oops. Put one slice of cheese on the top here, and these two are going to go straight in the oven now. Um, should get a cheese slicer, shouldn't I? Really? Anyway, I've got some extra cheese there to put in the middle, and. Then I've got some spinach leaves there. Then I've got um, avocado. So you've probably seen this a thousand times, but there's always a chance that people haven't seen avocados being cut. So. Is how I do it. That's too much to put into the burger, but um, I'm usually <laughs> I'm usually snacking while I'm cooking, so I know that you've seen it. Right, so don't pretend. You know that I snack while I cook. Now I'm going to cook the patties. Rightio, let's turn this up a bit because I want it really high. So it's sizzling but only slightly, so I won't put the other two in just yet. Right, so here's the first one. So underneath there I've got some mustard cheese and a little bit of spinach. I've got some tartare sauce here. And a little bit of avocado. And then the top, which has got melted cheese on, can go there. That, my friends, is quite beautiful. So there you go, there's a little side view for you. Right, I'm going to get tucked into that. And um, I will catch you on the next recipe.